Tesla could be looking to open a second gigafactory in China, according to local reports, and top officials are already conducting business meetings. I don't think this is the second Asian gigafactory, but the second gigafactory in China. We'll talk about that in a moment. The electric automaker already has one production facility in China with Giga Shanghai, which is currently producing around 200,000 vehicles per year, which is 4,000. They just reached 4,000 vehicles um, per uh, week, according to Tesla. However, Tesla will need more production facilities in Asia to keep up up with the increasing demand that the company has experienced since starting deliveries of its made in China vehicles in January 2020. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell when you subscribe uh, to be able to see my other stories when I upload them because I have several couple of very interesting Tesla stories coming later today. So Gigafactory Shanghai has already been extremely beneficial to Tesla after less than a year in operation. It is helping to develop the Chinese electric vehicle market, which is already the biggest in the world and growing fast, very fast, thanks to local incentives and strong regulation um, accelerating to switch to electric vehicles. Production at Gigafactory Shanghai has already ramped up extremely fast and Tesla is expected to hit a production rate of 200,000 cars per year in 2020. It's adding production capacity for Model Y. In the past, CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, has indicated that Tesla is going to need many more gigafactories, including more in China. Now, the rumors of Tesla starting to work on a second gigafactory has started after Lingjiang new area officials confirmed to have met with Tesla executives about quote-unquote accelerating projects according to local Chinese media. Liangjiang new area is a new state level industrial district within the me mega city of Chongqing. Tesla Vice President uh, Grace Tao met government official Duan Chenggang to, quote, promote cooperation, end of the quote, according to an official statement. Due to the fact that Liangjiang New Area is involved, rumors started circulating that the meeting might have been about Tesla establishing a new factory or a uh, assembly or something in China. However, it's possible that it is about, quote unquote, accelerating, end of the quote, other Tesla projects like service centers. Channel News Asia reported saying this, the official China Securities Journal newspaper citing undefined sources said cooperation could involve the establishment of sales and maintenance centers rather than factories. So it's not clear whether it's going to be another gigafactory or just main, uh, sales and maintenance centers. Details are still scarce at this point, but I think in the few next few weeks or months, we will probably know much more about this. Friends, in the second quarter, Tesla delivered around 30,000 vehicles in China, and it captured an impressive 23% of the electric vehicle market in the country in June. I think it's inevitable that Tesla is going to build one or more factories in China in the future, but I don't think if this point, if this particular rumor has any legs. What about you? What do you think about this? But you know, as they say in my country, Armenia, there is no, uh, there is no fog that doesn't have a, a, a fire or there is no smoke without fire. Liangjiang new area's focus and manufacturing seems to indicate that a factory would make more sense, but other projects could be possible too. Tesla is expanding, expanding fast in China in all aspects, not just in manufacturing. Currently, Tesla's construction crews are working on building the second phase of the Giga Shanghai facility. The first phase is responsible for building the Model 3, while the second phase will build the Model Y crossover, which has yet to make its way to the Asian market. China 
has contributed a considerable amount of Tesla's emergence during the, this virus, which temporarily shut down Giga Shanghai for a week. The facility reopened on February 10, thanks to a series of health and safety precautions, which we have respond, uh, already reported in this channel. In China, Tesla's presence has helped the Model 3 become one of the most popular vehicles in the country. In June, like I said, Tesla managed to take 20% of the country's overall electric vehicle market share for the month. Additionally, Model 3 sales rose 35% compared to the previous month of May. Since the beginning of the year, Tesla stock has gained nearly $1,040 in value and has quickly surged to become the most valuable automaker in the world. Thanks to its surge in price per share, the company's market cap has gone beyond Toyota, Volkswagen and Honda's valuation combined. See my morning report about that. Tesla's domination in the automobile manufacturing sector in 2020 has come down to development in technology, battery improvements and uh, that have increased range and longevity and the company's reduction in vehicle prices. Tesla is expected to hold a battery day along with its shareholders meeting on September 22nd where it will reveal the advancements it has made in battery technology throughout the past year. Everyone is looking forward for that day which and what Tesla is going to announce. Additionally, Tesla's second quarter earnings earnings call will take place on july 22nd um, the company best uh, the company bet wall street 75,000 to 80,000 delivery estimates uh, soundly by successfully giving 90,650 vehicles to owners during the second quarter of the year tesla recently opened up cybertruck orders in china gauging demand before building factory what if Tesla has so many Cybertruck orders in China that it is considering building a second Gigafactory in China? Right now, we don't know how many orders Tesla has had in the past several in, in the past week or so. But we know that uh, Cybertruck is a very popular truck, and Cybertruck popularity and interest has been growing in Chinese media. And who knows? Maybe Tesla has so many orders that it is already preliminarily thinking ahead, thinking about saying, "Hey, we probably will need to. If like we have fifty thousand or uh, one hundred thousand Cybertruck orders, we may need to um, we may need to uh, build another Gigafactory in China." And I'm not talking about the second Asian Gigafactory because I'm going to have a few words about that as well. So this city, Chongqing, is in the middle of China, in the southwest, and has a strategic location. I had expected them to make other factories first, either in Vietnam or India, which I reported earlier, and then make another factory in China. This would have increased uh, China uh, Tesla's geographic presence. But I guess they also need to consider battery supply chain, which might be better in China at the moment. But I don't think Tesla will have any difficulties for from China to India if Tesla build a, uh, a battery, uh, its a specific gigafactory for small cars in India, and uh, China Tesla could easily uh, supply batteries from uh, China to Indian gigafactory. But here is another thing that I am considering. I think this title is. Um, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, look, look at this. I think the, the, regarding the title, look at the statement that I just read a little bit ago. The quote from the Chinese media says, accelerating project could mean a variety of things. However, according to the official China Securities Journal newspaper, Tesla could be building a series of new sales and maintenance centers rather than an actual new production facility. So perhaps no new factory in China just expansion of service centers. This could be. Chongqing Lingjiang new district does seem open to working with Tesla and have reached a broad consensus to accelerate the new project Grace Tao discussing during the meeting. However, the details of Tesla's new project have not been divulged. We have no idea what this could be. Like I said a little bit ago, we will know about this in the next coming weeks or in the next coming days once more information comes out in the Chinese media. Friends, even though the project's details haven't been clarified, 
it is clear that Chongqing could be instrumental to Tesla China's growth in the future. Chongqing is strategically located in China. As such, it has become an inland trading hub. It has access to multiple transit lines, trains, highways, airports, making it the ideal place for suppliers. That's an ideal place for suppliers. Chongqing happens to be one of the older industrial bases in China with ties to the automotive industry as well. The municipality mainly concentrated on motorcycle parts in the past but has been steadily transitioned to manufacturing car parts for the last 5 to 10 years. Chongqing also happens to be transitioning to green manufacturing practices, hence the interest toward Tesla. The city government implemented a three-year plan in 2018 to shift to green manufacturing. Other than its strategic location, ties to the automobile industry and green manufacturing practices, Grace Tao's personal appearance in Chongqing hints that Tesla's new project will significantly contribute to the EV automaker's growth in China. The presence of Tesla China's global vice president at the meeting speaks volumes about Chongqing and its role in the electric vehicle automaker's plan for the future. Well, friends, let me know what you think about this meeting. Earlier uh, today or yesterday, I reported that Tesla, there is a rumor that Tesla may be building or uh, interested to build its second Asian Gigafactory in India to manufacture small, compact, uh, affordable Tesla cars. But I don't think this one that we're talking about in this report in Chongqing is related to that second Asian Gigafactory. This may be either a second China Gigafactory or just a facility maintenance or delivery center, some type of center for Tesla to facilitate its deliveries in mainland China and Southeast Asia. What do you think, friends? Let me know in the comment section below, uh, below please. And let's continue the discussion there. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan for TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel. Uh, ring the bell when you subscribe so you don't miss my next Tesla story. I have two more coming today. And have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you and talk to you soon.